Hello, in this video we're going to have a look at a small update that I've done for the uh, back-end implementation. So um, I've made some changes to the inventory system design, uh, essentially making it a bit more reactive. So uh, what happened in the past is that it was um, done using RESTful API. So basically you had post requests, for instance, to drop an item, pick up an item and things like that. Um, and you had get requests to get yourself the inventory. And now what we're doing is uh, we're going to be doing this via WebSockets. So you have uh, a session live and you're going to be sending messages to it, you know, uh, with your intent. So, for example, I want to drop an item. It will process it, send the events out. And then when there's an update available, it will push it to your session. So uh, the design is a bit different. It took a bit longer than expected, actually. And what we're going to do in this video is just have a look at uh, the Postman request to, to sort of understand how it works and how we will be uh, integrating it with Unreal Engine. And then in the next video, I'll probably look to integrate it with uh, Unreal Engine to see how it all fits together. So, uh, yeah, let's have a look. OK, so we'll begin with the server up and running. And the first request that we'll make is to initialize the player's motion. So when you log into the game, we'll send a message to the server to say, I, I'm logged in and I'm in this location with this motion information. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is send that request in Postman. So you can see this is my WebSocket URL, and this is the uh, motion that we're going to be sending, right? So we're basically logging into test character one, and let's send this message across. So when I send it, I don't actually get a response back because there's nothing nearby that we need to synchronize. OK, but when we're going to send this message with test character two, uh, we're actually going to get back information about any nearby characters. Right. So uh, the test character one is in basically the same location as test character two. So that's why we get notified of their presence. So you can see also if I go back to test character one, that automatically synchronize. So there is no polling that I need to do in order to get this update. So this is actually some of the content from the previous video, but now we can sort of see it in uh, Postman as well. Uh, so what we're actually going to look at is the inventory and the items. Uh, so what I've done is I've created some items in uh, the server, so using the script. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn an item. So this kind of request will come from the UE server, or maybe it will be happening internally as well. So I haven't decided that probably from the UE server will be just fine. So what I'm actually going to do is spawn an item in the map. So I have, this is still a, a normal post request. And um, so I'm basically saying spawn an item with ID 17,000 and put it into this location. Okay. So when I send the server, it gives me the um, response of what it has created. And because it's in the vicinity of these players, I get automatically notified about these items. So you can see it's a bit more reactive now. I don't actually have to, um, with my session, say, hey, tell me what's nearby. This will automatically come to my session. So this is a pretty big advantage when we're going to start implementing the integration inside Unreal Engine. And it's the same story with our session two. So you can see it's also notified about these items being dropped in the map. OK, so now what we're going to do is pick up this item. So I have another request to handle item pickups. So let's go back to Postman here and pull this down. So with character one, uh, we're going to try and pick up this item. So we, we get this item instance ID. So this is a unique identifier for the item. And we're going to just send that message over. So you can see when I send this over, I get notified with my inventory so basically this character picked up an item and therefore my inventory has changed so i get a response to say my inventory's changed right like uh, this is the current state of my inventory perhaps i should look to make uh, this more reactive as well just give me the delta uh, but for now you know i, I basically get a, a state of my inventory uh, so you can basically see uh, Here's some of the character items uh, over here. So this is like, for instance, the um, item that I've picked up now. Uh, so yeah, you can see this is the same item instance ID as the one here. So it's now inside my inventory. OK, um, as well as that, you can see that I also get a message to remove that item from the map. OK, so test character two hasn't actually sent any messages at all. It's just standing there in the map. 
and he gets notified of all of these changes, right? So when we spawn an item, he get notified of um, me needing to add that item to the map. When that item was picked up by a different character, I get no notified of this event as well. So things are reactive now. I don't have to be constantly asking for these updates. They just sort of come to me. And this should make things a lot easier when implementing them on the Unreal Engine uh, client. Okay, and finally, the other um, endpoint that I have, or the other message that I have, is to drop the item. So I might look to potentially change the way this request looks, uh, because um, basically I'm using the inventory location rather than uh, item instance ID. I think this is because when I first created it, I didn't have item instance IDs. Uh, now I do, so perhaps I should use them. Okay, so the item that we picked up had this ID. So um, let's have a look where it is. So it should be something like item location. Okay, I think it's a zero two. Okay, and if I drop that item, I get notified uh, of my inventory update and I'm also adding that item to the map. So I get both of these um, updates as well. Um, this character uh, obviously doesn't get uh, an update to the inventory because that's not their inventory, right? Like, and uh, test character two inventory hasn't changed, so we don't need to know about it. Um, but the item has been added to the map again which is why you get notified of this change. And likewise, even if I was to disconnect and then uh, connect again, uh, I'm going to be notified of all of these things, right? So again, like the test character one is in the vicinity and the item is also um, next to the character as well. So I get notified of this as well. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to look at uh, actually integrating all of this inside Unreal Engine. And um, yeah, hopefully it will be done soon. So thanks and see you next time. Bye.